and uh, we talked with Brother Mar, and then we drove here. <laughs> when you ask the question, so what happened when you and Mary first met? And uh, well, obviously he's now he now knows that him and Mary were not supposed to actually kiss, nor were they supposed to hold hands. So of course, in fine form, Brandon is gonna have to pretty much tell a part of the truth. And that is, yes, they did talk to Brother Romo, but uh, everything else, <laughs> that stays undisclosed. God damn. Hopefully me and Mary can still be romantic with each other in private because we're about to... Oh, dearie, 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 dearie me. Dearie, dearie, dearie me. He's hoping that they can still be romantic in private. You know, here's the thing. It's one thing for him to find out that he wasn't supposed to kiss Mary. He wasn't supposed to hold hands with Mary. But now he knows his information. Well, to be honest with you, he should be like, you know what? I'm going to be respectful for the rest of the, uh, well, the rest of my stay here. You know what I mean? Rather than uh, continue to break some rules. But at the same time, though, well. Spend our first night together. We talked a lot about what we wanted to be like. Like a wet dream, almost. And don't get me wrong. After two and a half years of waiting, you're definitely going to be eager to want to get the uh, funky funky, if you dig what I'm saying good about Brandon meeting my grandparents and also relieved that he didn't tell about the kissing. Oh, is this it? You see, this is the problem. This is the problem that Mary does not understand, nor does she see. She doesn't recognize that now Brandon has been able to witness that one, you lied to him. Whoa, 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 whoa. You withheld information about uh, the fact that he couldn't kiss you or, or, or hold your hand or even hug you without permission when he first met you. But at the same time, you've now shown him that you're more than happy to go behind your grandparents back to get what you want. And because obviously you two have been talking the funky funky for two and a half years, of course, he's expecting for something to happen pretty much on night one. But because he knows this, this is why he has that mentality. He has that, he has that mindset of, you know what, well, hopefully later on we can still get a little bit funky funky in the private. Because at the end of the day, if Mary has already gone behind her grandparents back, and I've already had to pretty much withheld information because of her, well, I guess there's no reason for us to go in the full mile. And this is the problem with what Mary's done here. She's now created a scenario technically isn't necessarily healthy. Now, of course, when I say it technically isn't healthy, what I mean is it depends on who the partner would have been. Because if she, she was dealing with someone that was quite uh, unhinged, I just don't know how that would have ended. But in this situation, well, <clears throat> we're about to find out. Do you, by any chance, foresee the night changing? Of course, of course, it's now bedtime. Now Betty Betty Bad, bed, Betty Bad, Betty Buys. And bear in mind though, before bedtime, Brandon had asked permission for him and Mary to be able to stay in the same room, respectfully, which he obviously has. But of course, this is staying in the same room, but not actually doing anything together. So, and it's a matter of basically, basically sleeping head to tails. Okay, old school head to tails. Sleep over, everyone. Yep, you sleep that side, I sleep this side. Ah, damn. Waking up with feet in your, in your mouth. <laughs> Luckily for me, I've never done it. I know I've done it once to be fair with my cousin. That didn't happen. Thank God for that. But either way, though, we're in a situation now where Brandon, you know, he's been given permission. So really and truly, he should be respecting the permission and not trying to get the funky funky. But instead, he's now asking Mary the question. So we're basically going to get it down tonight. And you know what? For me personally, this, this has got to be one of the most lamest moves I've ever seen in my life. In this situation, personally, this is what I would do. The next time we, we, the next time we started kissing, if things got really intense as we was kissing, and I knew I was ready, which, which to be fair, you'd be ready within a space of like 0 .0 0.0001100 seconds anyway, not like that number even exists. But yes, you would be ready with that time. Why? Because they've been prepping for this the last two and a half years. Of course, ready to go. But here's the thing, this is what I would do. I'd get the kissing going. Okay, the next time the kissing started going, once the excitement was there, I would stop and then be like, hey, are you sure you want to do this? I don't want to be disrespectful. I mean to. Your, 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 your grandparents she says yes <clears throat> we're getting in she says no at least she's learned that you're respectful you don't get in at least she's learned that and that's good for you that is the best way talking about it addressing it like really bear in mind that she's a virgin as well she's not going to be in overthinking mode so radio and 2d if it happens she's going to want it to happen just naturally and organically that would have been the best way to go about it the only time in the only time what well, one of the very few times is okay to pretty much prep for intercourse is if you know you and your girl say for example uh she's at work you're at work and then you know one of you is feeling frisky and decided to slide the other one a little cheeky little text you know what i mean saying hey <laughs> and therefore you're building up the momentum for when you get home 
different conversation. You're out and about together, you know what I mean? It's a it's a lovely day, you're having a good time, you're kissing the whole day, whatnot, you're giving that mm -mm hint, but tell me, you know what I mean? Those are the times like, you can prep it in, in some kind of like conversation of dialect, whatever, right? Dialogue, whatever, right? But that's not the situation. So here's the thing. So, so, so as far as I'm concerned, when I'm looking at this situation here, Brandon, <laughs> I can tell you're young because goddamn, the way you're moving is creepy. But then again, though, I'm not going to say he's young. I have noticed he's older men too, to be honest. I don't know. Either way, though, just saying that's not the way he should be going about it. We continue. I still haven't told Brandon that they want me to wait to have sex until we get married. Now, listen, let's break this down. Let's break this down. The situation here. The way I would feel so betrayed, the way I'd feel manipulated, and many other things of how I'd feel based on Mary's actions. So, he doesn't know right now. He thinks that all they need is permission to have intercourse. He doesn't, you know what I mean? That's what he thinks right now. And he only thinks that because he just found out the day he landed. But also on top of that, he's now got to wait to find out that technically they have to wait until marriage. So while he's getting his hopes up, he's... Hopes are probably quite lower than he than 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 than, than, he, than he thinks because of course she's already broken some of the rules. So this 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 is why I would generally feel betrayed and all them kind of things. Because at the end of the day, if you couldn't tell me that you and I could not be intimate, you and I could not hold hands, you and I could not kiss when we first met, if you're telling me you couldn't tell me this, that means you're telling me this because maybe you didn't trust the fact that I would have waited around for two and a half years. You're telling me this because. You know, you didn't tell me these things because you thought, you know, you can withhold it. So therefore, I stay attached to you this whole time. You withheld the information. So therefore, I never get off my freaking phone and be attached to you like a leech and like a crazy person. At the end of the day, it just basically means that their whole relationship, or at least a portion of their relationship, has been, you know, a part of it has been, um, is it deceptive? I believe that's the word. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for. It could be wrong. You know what I mean, right? So at the end of the day, the fact that part of that our, our relationship would have been based on withheld information, undisclosed information. I wouldn't be happy with that. I'd feel 100% betrayed and I'd feel like as if you don't trust me. And I'd feel like as if like you was only trying to, and I'd feel like as if you was trying to, or you had basically manipulated to basically, you know, to be with you because you didn't fully trust that. I, if you told me certain things, then I was not going to stay. And I do understand that point of view to a certain degree, but at the end of the day, if somebody really, really wants to be with you and really, really wants to respect you, then they will be with you no matter what and respect your culture, your religion, your, 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 um, your family and how things, and how you do things. So the fact that she had to withhold the information from Brandon clearly means that she doesn't have that much faith in their relationship, or at least that's exactly how I would feel. I would feel like as if you had no faith in me in our relationship. How else am I supposed to freaking feel? But that's just my opinion. But either way, though, right now we are evident that Mary is currently the biggest problem in their relationship because she continues to withhold information from Brandon, which is not fair to the slightest. Of course, we shall see how the season goes on because... Got, I'm pretty sure we should. If we're lucky, we may see other sides of Brandon too that make make us think, okay, maybe he's maybe maybe he's just as bad as Mary, or maybe he's worse than Mary. You know what I mean? But right now, the way Mary Mary be moving with these uh, lies and uh, whoa 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 whoa, these withheld information and stuff, it's not healthy. Far from healthy. You guys, let me know what you're thinking. We'll talk about it. Don't forget to like, sub, and of course, peace. Oh.